Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing another resin that's coming to us from Soraya Tech. So it's fully sealed up. Uh, we have no idea what this looks like just yet. We have very limited information about what, um, what its capabilities are, but we are hopeful because this is coming from a company that has a very large amount of experience with resins. Um, if you haven't followed any of Soraya Tech's product line, they have like tons. There's some that are water washable. There are some that require low alcohol, flexible, tough, extra tough, really good for sculpting, some for molding. It's, it's crazy how many they have. It's really good. And I think this is their first uh, attempt at doing a castable resin. I say attempt because obviously we don't even know what it's like yet. Hopefully it gets through all of our tests with ease. So uh, obviously this was fulfilled by Amazon. Um, this came to us from amazon.com. It's not available to us right now uh, in Canada on .ca, but um, they were able to ship it to us and we're gonna give it a try. So if this uh, US launch goes well, it will become more internationally available. So look out for that if you're interested in this resin, if you're in the UK or in Asia, uh, wherever you may be. So the packaging is actually really nice. Um, obviously Shannon just tossed me that box and um, you know, it's got a nice foam, like safety bumper thing all the way around it. That's great. Usually it's just like bubble wrap. So that's awesome. We've had resins come in something similar to this and they've exploded in transit. And uh, this one obviously hasn't, so that's great. Bottom. There we go. Cool. So very nondescript bottle, Soraya Tech. Pretty known for that actually. Their stuff isn't like super uh, flamboyant in their packaging, but that's fine. It looks great. I care more about what it's going to perform like. So this is one kg, 1000 milliliters. So that's more than enough to do our testing. I'm just going to open it up because I'm curious about the color. Oh, it's got like a safety seal. Cool. So it's definitely a purple color. Um, I've haven't seen this one before, so this is definitely going to be their own formulation, I suspect, which is great. So it looks like Soraya Tech's main goal with this is to bring a castable resin that is also affordable. Um, in all of our testing so far, this one is labeled as $75 for one liter, which is phenomenally cheap. Um, sorry, phenomenally affordable. I don't know if it's cheap yet. I'm just gonna quote directly from their, uh, their Amazon page here. It says that they are looking to introduce a high resolution, easy to print castable resin from Soraya Tech. Their goal is to make castable resin affordable so that professionals and beginners can enjoy it without a hefty price. Cast, which is what they're calling this resin, uh, contains some wax, so it is easier to burn out than many of the non-wax castable resins. It also follows a very common burnout schedule uh, and it should be compatible with normal investments. So that's all the information that I really have with this. We're gonna have to do some testing and I hope that it comes out really well. Uh, just a little side note, I kind of stumbled over that because um, I suspect that they're coming from more of a chemical polymer engineering background and less from a jewelry one. So they're using, a, they're using of the phrasing uh, powder. Uh, it's very vague. Um, there's lots of investment powders available. So are they trying to aim this towards like UltraVest, which is just designed for doing wax or Plasticast or Solitaire? Like there's tons of different ones available. So anyway, we're gonna have to do some testing and see how well this works out. I really hope that this blows my expectations out of the water because at this price point, there's just no arguing. Um, this is definitely part of the, the whole chemical technological advancement side. I mean, 3D printers have been out for a couple of years now commercially, like with the, the Photon and, and the, uh, the Mars and stuff. And now we're getting to the point where it's starting to mature a little bit. Cost is going to start coming down because they can start providing it in bulk. I hope. We'll see how well this works out. On the testing note, we've actually ordered a new printer. Um, in this channel, if you've been following along, we have been stuck with the Prusa SL1 by choice. Like we love the printer, but frankly, it's out of date. So when Elgu released their Mars 3 printer, I was like, 
because it looks amazing. It looks like uh, a Sonic Mini 4K with a bunch of like upgraded stuff. So I'm really excited to get that printer. Uh, we will definitely be testing it on the Prusa SL1 and the Mars 3. So stay tuned for that printer review upcoming when it arrives. I'm very much looking forward to doing it. It also means that we're gonna be probably re-reviewing some of our resins because it just, we needed to bring those reviews back into the modern age as it were, away from the Prusa SL1 onto this more new printer. So that's all for this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the review aspect of this resin and of course everything else that we're going to be doing upcoming. Um, if you need any one-on-one -on -one help, please consider our membership program because I do offer more of a one-on-one -on -one coaching approach if you need any help with the printing or the casting or even the follow-up, you know, finishing, getting a finished product. More than willing to help you with anything jewelry or sculpture related.